Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm planting some new salvias in my garden. So I just wanted to talk about salvias as a whole because I think they're such a great perennial. Um, and then I wanted to show you these brand new varieties that just came out this year. So I've got Perfect Profusion right here, this beautiful kind of icy blue. This one's called Indiglow Girl. And this is probably one of the bigger flower spikes I've seen on a salvia and super striking color. And then this one right here, which is just starting to come into bloom is called Pink Profusion. So I do wanna show you where each one of these varieties is going in my garden. They're all going in different areas, but really the whole point of this video, the reason why I wanted to put it together was to encourage those of you guys who are maybe new gardeners and you don't really know about where to start, what plants to put in the garden, or those of you who have a really tough spot in your garden that you have a hard time getting things to grow, salvia, are a wonderful perennial to try because I feel like most everybody can have success with this plant. They love full sun. Um, they can take some drought conditions, though they will bloom a little bit better, a little bit more consistently with kind of average moisture. They're also super winter hardy. All three of these varieties are a zone three through eight. Now there are a lot of varieties of uh, salvia out there. I think there's like some over 900 varieties out there and they range from an annual type to perennial types like these here um, even some ground cover salvias and some that are kind of like a semi woody shrub uh, and these are all types that you can cut back to the ground every year and they come back fresh they also will all rebloom really consistently throughout the year um, so they're a perennial that you can put in and they'll keep on blooming for you what you want to do after they put on this you know first beautiful flush of bloom which starts in late spring you can go in and kind of cut them back maybe maybe about half or you can take individual stems down if you want um, and then they'll flush back and bloom again uh, so they'll bloom through the majority of summer they're also one of the best pollinator attracting plants you can put in your garden they attract uh, hummingbirds butterflies honeybees and they're also resistant to deer and rabbits um, and they aren't really bothered by any insects or disease that i'm aware of i've never had them attacked by anything in my garden so they really are kind of a wonder plant um, so each of these have a slightly different growth habit and obviously different color of blooms. So what I wanna do now is go to the areas in my garden where I'm gonna put these and we'll talk a little bit more about each individual variety. So first one is the Indiglow Girl and I think this is gonna be the perfect spot for them. You might be able to see kind of a haze of pink in the background. We just got through planting a bunch of Surefire Rose Begonias and those are right directly beneath a tree so they get filtered light throughout the day. But this little corner right here, we stopped planting begonias about right behind me here because this this spot gets pretty much full sun. We did put a shade up over us for this video, um, but most of the time it's in full sun. So I think it's gonna be a really pretty combination of color. And I think both plants will really like where they're at. Um, so the interesting thing about this one, this has a huge flower, like I said earlier, just a really thick flower spike really dark indigo blue flowers and the calyx that holds the flower to the stem are also dark colored. So even when they're out of bloom and the blooms have fizzled, they still kind of look like they're in bloom. So if you don't have time to get out there right away to cut your plant back, it still looks nice out in the landscape. And this one grows about 20 to 22 inches tall and wide. So I thought three would fill in this area really nicely. So I'm gonna get these planted and we'll see how the area looks. Well, these look exactly as awesome as I thought they would in this spot. And it's perfect because I already have drip tubing running underneath this mulch. There's a tube that runs by each one of the plants. So I'll water them in today. And then our irrigation system will kind of pick up and do that chore for me. Um, so I think this is just gonna be a beautiful blend. So let's go to the next spot and we'll plant the perfect perfusion. Don't these look amazing right here? I think that this is absolutely beautiful, especially because the tulips are still in bloom back behind. Um, we're right next to our chicken coop run, and these are gonna be planted right below a weeping ornamental cherry tree. And I think it's gonna be just a really beautiful blend. I'm gonna plant five in this area. This uh, variety of salvia is one of the best for consistent rebloom throughout the summer season. And they have a really tidy kind of growth habit. They grow about 16 to 20 inches tall and wide. So now I'm gonna get these planted. I think 
of these turned out absolutely perfect and I love them even more now that they're in the ground and a little bit shorter because now there's a little bit of breathing space between the top of the salvia and the bottom of the umbrella here of this weeping cherry, which I will keep pruned up a little bit because I do want to be able to see this um, really pretty, I think, with any color. These are like a soft blue. Uh, I think they're really gorgeous, like with this deep pink right here. It's a really good example. Also gorgeous with this lighter pink. I think they'd even be pretty with red, yellow, whatever, really. So now in this area, I do still have a lot of planting around the chicken coop. This is kind of my first little new installment around the run, and I'm gonna work my way forward. So now we'll go find the last spot for the pink profusion. So this last area, I think it's gonna be really pretty. I'm kind of planting these right up next to the edge of the flower border, and right behind it, I've got Morden Blush Roses, which are really pretty, like kind of a lighter pink. So we'll have the darker pink salvia right in front and the really cool thing about the pink profusion is that they have the dark pink flowers but then they also have a darker pink calyx so it's just like the indoglow girl in that when they're out of bloom they still look like they're kind of in bloom so they're a really pretty plant no matter what um, we also have a tiny wine nine bark planted right behind that has a deeper more of a kind of a red green foliage so i think it's going to be a really pretty blend and these grow about 14 to 16 inches tall and about 20 or so inches wide so i think they'll fill in this area just beautifully and they are another one that are a super reliable rebloomer throughout the summer so let's get these ones in the ground I think what I really like about this little drift of salvia right here are the plants that are around it. So to the right, I didn't mention that we have some lemon jade sedum we showed you in a previous video, and that one grows and fills in this whole area here. And then we'll have this drift, which I kind of designed it to kind of go back into the bed a little bit so that I could come in with another type of perennial kind of right in front of the salvia here. Now I'm thinking like maybe some kind of grassy texture, like a daylily that has maybe a pale yellow bloom. I think that would be a really pretty uh, contrast of both uh, texture and color. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you these new varieties of salvia and then just like I highly recommend this plant for those of you who are new gardeners or you have a really tough spot in your garden. Um, and we will be doing some progress reports on these as the season goes, especially on this one since it's not in full bloom yet. But this may be what the salvia will look like when you go down to your garden center. You may not find it in full bloom. It might be just butted up like this, but that's even better. That way you can get them in the ground and you get to enjoy the entire show. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful and we will see you in the next one. Bye.